Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome to a special beekeeping basics. Today we're at Stoney Park in Warwickshire for the annual Bee Trade X show which is designed for beekeepers to come along and take a look at all the latest equipment to do wax exchange and to go to some of the talks and a whole host of other stuff so uh, we've got some wax to take to the wax exchange so let's head off and see if we can get that swapped and I'll show you the process for that and then we'll head into the hall and see if we can meet up with some of the suppliers. So here we've got processed wax that's come from the beehives and we're going to take it over to one of the beekeeping suppliers and we're going to exchange it for some fresh wax. Okay so we're at the Maysmore Wax Exchange truck and we're about to swap over the wax and let's see how much wax we get. Okay, so we've just done the Maysmore Wax Exchange, which is fantastic. We've ended up exchanging all of that old grotty wax for 200 sheets of National Brood Foundation, 140 sheets of Commercial Brood Foundation, and also 60 sheets of National Brood Foundation, but with a drone cell on here. And we're gonna use this later in the year to produce drones for our mating apiary. So, that's the wax exchange done, that's the heavy lifting done. So now we're going to go into the show and see if we can meet up with some of the supplies. One of the main suppliers that I wanted to meet up with was BB Ware. And I'd arranged with James from BB Ware to go along to their stand and to take a look at some of their equipment. One of the issues with being at a trade show is that the ambient sound from all of the visitors can interfere quite a bit. So what we've done is we've tried to record as best we can and hopefully you'll get the gist of what the BB Ware suits look like. So we're here at BB Ware and we've got James and we're going to have a quick chat with James about some of the bee suits, particularly those that are going to be ideal for the beginner and then we'll pull some of the suits out and take a look at them and James can tell us exactly what we've got. Thanks for having us here Very James. Um, so whereabouts are you based? We're based in Truro in Cornwall in South West England. But you do also supply worldwide don't we you? We do supply worldwide. So we supply America, Australia, Sweden, Denmark, France, Germany and now Switzerland as well. Yeah, fantastic. And how long have you guys been around? This is our 17th year trading. Um, so yeah, we've been growing quite, quite considerably. And it's a family business, isn't it? Yeah, it's a family business. So it's me, my mum, my dad and my brothers have both come into it now as well. So my dad does the cutting, my mum does the ordering, I do the orders, my brother does all the uh, knitting bits Fantastic. on the internet. Fantastic. Yeah, that's so right. And, and you've got a, a really wide range of bee suits that would suit anyone from the beginner, beginner. all the way up to, to a bee farm. Yeah? yeah, that's right, yeah. So we do half suits, full suits, basic designs, and then the deluxe, the deluxe suits for, like say, the commercial bee farmers. And, and something that I'm interested in taking a look at is that little bee farmer hood type thing the that best. you have. The best, yeah. yes. Because um, sometimes it gets a bit warm, and when I'm with my friendly bees, yeah. it would be <laughs> nice just to wear something, something like light that. On, yeah. So should we take a look at some of the suits? Yes. Okay, so what's this one, James? This is the BB501 basic design. Um, so you've got one breast pocket, two, two uh, hip pockets, you've 
got one hive tool clock on the, on the side, um, and that's it. We've kept it basic just to keep the price down so you're not okay. paying for the room. Right? Sure. And then, um, this, this is perfect for the beginners. If you've got sort of one or two hives in your garden, yeah. you don't need all the pockets. And I think this is probably the one that I prefer because yeah. um, some of them have got a lot of pockets on, and I tend to go for just one or two pockets. Yeah, so you don't need so Okay, much. so this is the, the basic one. The basic, yeah. yeah. What's the model number? The BB501. BB501. Yeah. Okay, so what's this model? This is the BB1 the, uh, Deluxe Full Suit. Okay. So this is the uh, top of the range suit. This is one the uh, commercial bee farmers will use. Okay. And people who are out there all day with their bees. Yeah. You've got all the pockets with Velcro flaps, uh, knee pockets as well. You've also got waterproof knee patches so your trousers don't get wet when you're kneeling ah, down. Yeah. Uh, you've got ankle zips just to make it that bit easier so you don't have to take your boots off. Sure. And you've got, we've changed the thumb loops now so we've got really strong, durable thumb loops there as well. Excellent. So your sleeves don't ride up when you put your gloves on. Yeah. And this particular type of hood, yeah. is this the most popular? It's the most popular. Um, we started doing the round ones about four or five years ago. Okay. Um, they are coming up and sort of, they're not quite level. It's about 60% right, okay. in this hood and yeah. about 40% in the round and, one. And what's this type of hood called? It's just, we, is this we just a, call like it a fencing, fencing, fencing style, yeah. 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 Okay. okay, and here we've got um, a jacket and this is the BB2 Deluxe jacket. So why would someone this is for this rather than a full suit? Yeah, so it's, if you only need to go out and see your bees quickly for sort of five or 10 minutes, yeah. or a lot, some people don't like wearing in general. Sure. Um, so, but like I say, if you're going out to just see him for four or five minutes, yeah. you can quickly throw this on and run out sure. while we're climbing into a full suit. It's just making them a lot easier. And it's got all the usual Velcro pockets. Yeah. All your Velcro pockets and your cord thumb loops. Um, and it's got an adjuster in here. So you can adjust that to your Okay. To your to stop the bees from getting yeah, up under yeah, the that's it. And we also do a basic version of this as well. So like the full suits, it's like this, but the same the same design. One basic pocket there and two pockets there. Okay. Just again to keep the price down if you don't need more. Excellent. Pockets. And they come in a lot of different colours as well. Yeah. So if yeah. you wanted, you could have a nice bright pink one. Yeah, you can. We don't stock the jackets in the lightweight fabric. Okay. Um, but we can do them on request. Um, but yeah, we've got 15 colours in the polycop range. 15. And six colours in the lightweight range. I am so. tempted. <laughs> Okay, so this is the last one that we're going to take a look at. Um, so what's the difference with this one? This one, so it, again, it's the, light, it's the lightweight suit, so it's a, a nice um, light fabric. Same design as the Deluxe um, BB1 we looked at a minute ago. Okay. Um, but this, this fabric will keep you a lot cooler. Um, it's a Teflon coated polyester, okay. so it's really hard for the bees to hold on to. Right. Um, so if they're crawling up you, they'll struggle to crawl up off. you. Yeah, they'll slip off. Also, it dries really quickly. You can put it in the wash, shake it off, and it'll be pretty wow, much ready to go. Good. And yeah. I guess the big question is, can the bees sting through this more easily than through the other material? Not more easily. Wow, <laughs> that's no. great. Yeah, yeah, so this is quite a nice suit. Yeah. And it is really lightweight. And it's and really durable as well. You, um, our Swedish agent had one for three years. He bought it to a show, and it looked as good as him. Fantastic. Really did. And this is the round hood. This is the round retro. We call it the retro hood. So you've got a chin strap in there with a toggle, so you can just connect it. So this, this okay. stays right on your head and you've got great vision in here and also this keeps the sun out of your eyes um, sure. on a sunny day. Fantastic. Okay, so those are the bee suits that we've taken a look at here at BB Wear. I think you'll agree that they're fantastic suits and really good value for money. So thanks James, thanks for your More time. More welcome, thanks we'll for having us. again soon. Yeah, perfect. After our little chat with James, we moved on to Bee Equipment to take a look at some of their products. Uh, the stand was getting really busy by this time, so it was a little bit more difficult to actually get round and be able to video anything and, and show you exactly what they had. But I was particularly interested in trying to find a new smoker, and I managed to catch up with the owner, Patrick, and we discussed at length the pros and cons of the different smokers. Ideally what I wanted was a, a larger smoker but with the older style bellows I always find that they tend to get a lot of propolis and a lot of dirt and wax and, and honey on them and I just wanted something that would maybe clean a bit easier and he's shown me a brand new smoker that they've got which uh, I'm going to be 
trialling out in the spring and I'll bring you a review of that uh, as we go forward. And then I happened to find a, a swarm trap, I think it's a pressed card swarm trap, which um, I'm not sure how they work but they look quite cool. Then we headed over to Brunel Microscopes, as you guys are aware, they sponsor our microscopy sessions for us and they had a fantastic display of microscopes that ranged across the price board for um, the absolute beginner beekeeper all the way up to some very sophisticated equipment and it all looked fantastic. I, I found a, a ringing table that uh, they'd supplied me um, which was really good to see and that works really well by the way plus a whole host of other equipment and the display was fantastic and if you are looking at getting into uh, microscopy for beekeeping then uh, the box that I just picked up is a box that is a pollen identification kit and uh, it's only about £35 so it's really worth getting hold of. After that I managed to catch up with Alan and Helen from Bruno Microscopes and we had a really good chat about the quality of the microscopes that they'd supplied me and we were talking about how I could continue to improve my microscopy ability because I am still just a beginner and um, they were giving me some advice and I'm hoping that uh, later this year after the beekeeping season I'll be able to get over to see them and get some more training but the equipment was fantastic and I thoroughly recommend you take a look at their website and finally I went over to Northern Bee Books and met up with Jerry and had a really interesting chat about the types of books that he'd got and what we could look forward to in the future and he's very kindly given me another bee breeding book which he says is a really important book so I'm looking forward to reviewing that for you and that will be coming out really soon and we've also got a copy of the beekeeping quarterly magazine to show you but there were some fantastic books there available for every level of beekeeping and then finally I bumped into one of our subscribers and it was fantastic to see those subscribers of the channel at the Bee Tradex show and we stood and had a, a really good chat and it's just nice to meet everybody so if you do ever see me at any of the shows please do come along and say hello that's a real whistle-stop tour of Bee Trade X. It's a great show. There's still some talks going on, um, but we've done pretty much everything that I wanted to do. I did stop off at Northern Bee Books and got two really good publications, and I'll do a review on these uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, we've also been able to purchase some new frames for the supers at a reduced rate so there's always a bargain to be had at some of these shows uh, i hope you find that interesting we're going to get over to the bbka spring convention as well and i'd like to do another video there and we'll perhaps have a look at some of the other um, stands that we haven't had a chance to look at this time around um, if you haven't yet subscribed please do think about hitting the subscribe button we're almost at the start of the season it'd be great to have you along give us a thumbs up and know that the sun's shining i'm going to pack the camera away and head home thanks for watching